In our last lesson, we talked about setting up some arrays and we went over basic arrays, multidimensional arrays, and associative arrays. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about looping through arrays with a for each loop. Currently, I have some cat set up, the cat variable with the cat values. I'm gonna come back to that and make some basic, a basic array just to get us started with that. So I'm going to delete this and maybe comment this out. And so you can see that it's commented out. And I'm gonna go down a little bit further in my page. And then here's my HTML that I, we did previously. And I'm gonna comment that out as well. Notice the syntax here as it got commented out. And if I refresh this, I'm back to having a white screen. Now I'm inside my PHP tags and I'm going to write an array of just cats, just really simple cats names. So we'll use our variable and we should be pretty comfortable with that now. Cats equal, and then it's going to equal an array. And we know that it's an array from the array bracket syntax here. And I'm going to put in a list of names, Sam, Amy, Bubba, and Frank. There are my array values now. Now I wanna loop through these values. Now when we talk about looping, what we previously did was we echoed out the value and we had to reference the key, right? So the zero would be Sam. And if we reference this, you can see Sam. Well, in order to get all of those values, I would need to write something that looks like this. So one, two, three. And then I would get all of those values as you can see here. Well, that's not the best. Really, this took up a lot of code here. And imagine if I had an array that was 10,000 uh, pockets long or so, right? It doesn't make too much sense. So that's where I would use a loop to loop through the values and then apply something each time to that value. So I use a for each loop for this. And I just wrote for each and Sublime automatically uh, auto completed it for me. So let's go through this. So for each variable as key arrow syntax value, I'm gonna get rid of the key because we don't need to use that right now. We just need a variable and value. So I'm gonna pass in the value of cats. So for each cats as, and then this is going to be singular cat. So for each cats as cat, and then I'm going to echo the value of cat. All right, now let's look through this and let's see it run just so you can see. It actually gives me the exact same results and now I don't have to echo out each line. It's just going to loop through. And I mean that by like, let's say if I add another one, and say uh, beans and I click refresh, you can see it instantly added it over. So this is kind of, and I like to use this jelly bean metaphor for this. Imagine you got jelly beans. So I hand you a bunch of jelly beans and then I say, I need you to do something to each jelly bean. So here's the jelly beans. So I say for each jelly bean as the individual jelly bean, I need you to toss it or eat it maybe I would say, right? In this case, we're going to echo it. And that is what we would do here with cats. So for each cats, and I like to make this one plural and this one singular. And now they don't have to be, but it's just easier to kind of read the code and understand what's happening in that. So that's a basic for each loop. Loops through the values in an array. If we come back to our example previously where it said cat up here now, and we make this one, this was Sam and matched up here, we need to make this a little bit larger. So I'm gonna delete this code here, and here's our cats variable. So I'm gonna say cats equal, and this time I'm going to grab this code here and take the whole chunk, put a comma, and paste another one right here. Then I'm gonna put a bracket up top and a bracket on the bottom. And then I'm gonna grab these and tab them over. So now it should look like I have an open tag for an array, a whole new array right here, a whole new array right here, and an array here that needs a semicolon to close the statement. 
like I tapped that in. Okay, so now I have two cats. I'm gonna take the second cat and say Amy. And Amy is just one color. She is white. Well, she's like a light gray. So I'm gonna say light gray. So Amy, she's also kind of fat and she's light gray. So there is, we got cats Sam and cat Amy. Now, if we wanna loop through these, we can use that same syntax and we refresh. Notice cats is cats. This is now not going is is going to reference each individual instance. So that's instance number one, and this is instance number zero. So if we refresh though, notice that we're echoing cat. We're going to get that array syntax string conversion error. Uh oh, that's because we're trying to echo out this value. Well, we can't do that. So let's start by saying let's just get the name. So I'm going to use because it's an associative array. I'm going to say, give me the name field here. And now if we refresh, it says Sam and Amy. And then I'm going to run a new line here and say, get Sam and Amy and then get size and refresh. And I get Sam fat, Amy fat. And then I'm going to do this one more time and say color. Now one of these will give us, look at this, we got our air because this here Look at that, it doesn't know the value. So we're gonna say number zero, which is the first pocket, and now we get Sam fat black, Amy fat light gray. Bunch of fat cats here, here we go. So this is looking pretty good, but the structure doesn't make too much sense there. So what we need to do is kind of make that look like a sentence. And the easiest way to do that probably is to concatenate a string onto it. So to do that, I'm gonna concatenate with some HTML, all right? And I'm gonna do this a little bit slower because the, some of the syntax can get confusing for people. So I'm gonna say echo, and then I'm gonna do a space and a single quotation, like a string would be. And I say the... Well, let me say hello. We're gonna introduce the cats, or we'll say hello. And then I'm gonna put a space and a dot. And this is the concatenation. That's that dot there. And if you're familiar with JavaScript, you'd use a plus in JavaScript. In PHP, it's a dot. So hello space dot. And then I can get rid of the echo because it's all gonna be on the same line here. So it's gonna say echo hello, which is the string, and then dot, and then the cat value. Now you can put a space in here. Sometimes I like to put the spaces in there. I put them on either side. These spaces next to the dot don't matter, but the space inside the string does. So I'm gonna put those spaces, and then here is another dot here. So I'll do a space and a space, and then another string. So it's gonna say hello, and then I want it to say the name of the cat. So hello, Sam. And then we're gonna put a space because that's gonna be after the name value. How uh, Sam knows say hello. We'll go my name, uh, hello, we'll do that. We're gonna change this up. My name is space, and then the cat's name, comma, I am, and now we wanna do the size. So we'll do another concatenation, so a dot. We can get rid of the echo here. Put another space there, size, I am, size, and I'm gonna go A, space, and then this would be fat. And then I'm gonna do space, single quotations to do a space in there, and then another dot. And notice how I'm bringing it back up to the next line here. Sometimes you can break this down if you want onto another on another line or you make it go all the way across. I'm gonna break mine down onto the next line here so it looks kind of like this. And then, and it really sort of depends on how you wanna structure it. That's getting a little bit messy. Let me break it down maybe there. So it says, hello, my name is cat name. I am a size of the cat space and the color here. Uh, and so this should be a fat, and then this should say the color of the cat. 
And then I'm gonna do it a single dot and then another quotation, a space. I'm gonna do a period. How are you today? Question mark, as if the cat's asking me. And we close the statement now. So it says, hello name, da 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 cat. Let's see how it goes. We'll refresh. It says, hello, or it says a name there. I wanted to say, my name is, hello, my name is Sam. I'm a fat black cat. Black, and then we would say here, cat. How are you today? Hello, my name is Amy. I am a fat light gray cat. How are you today? So now that looks pretty good, but it's all again one mush kind of put together. So I could wrap all of this in an H1. Notice I put it at the beginning here and at the end. So now I've wrapped my HTML inside of my string inside my PHP. And now I'll see it and it's a little bit more styled. Now, if I wanted to put a line separating the two of them, I could simply go in here and write echo a string. Now, if we want to write our HTML, if you haven't figured this out yet, if we want to write our HTML inside of our PHP, we have to use strings. If we don't, we want to wrap our HTML around our PHP, well, then we need to use the open and close PHP tags. And I'll show you that in an example in just a second. So here's an HR element. And now it'll put a line that separates them each one. So you may look at this example and say, whoa, that's a lot of syntax and what's going on there. And yeah, concatenation might take you a while to kind of figure out, get the hang of it. But let's show you a quick example of how two values can show, how you might want to do this, how you might want to set it up. And commonly, you'll see some of this syntax in WordPress versus other uh, frameworks uh, that use PHP might write it slightly different. So if I set up a variable, let's say x, and x is equal to 1, let's say, I can echo dollar sign $x, as we did previously, I turned on cap lock on accident there. I can turn this on to X. So X equals one echo X. So that's all set up, but mm, how can I, it's gonna echo the value, but I need to do concatenation out of this. So I'm gonna say the value is, and then dot concatenation, we'll put our dot spaces in there so we can see it. So this value is X. And so if we refresh this, it says the value is one. So that's our basic concatenation. It's concatenating on one side. I could write this same syntax. Maybe I put this in a paragraph so you could see what it looks like in a paragraph. I would then need to do concatenation on the opposite side and I would need to do the closed paragraph tag. So that's PHP, uh, HTML wrapped in PHP. I could write this same code like this. Notice I'm outside of the PHP. I'm going to write a P tag and then in the p tag, I'm going to put PHP, and then I'm going to echo the value of x, and then I'm going to close PHP. So now if I refresh this, I get the same, I need to put the string, this is the value, I would put that outside the PHP like this, like it's basic HTML, and I'll click refresh and say this is the value, put a space, one. So these do exactly the same thing, just, just syntactic sort of sugar, I guess you could say, they, they, of how it you could set it up, how you could run it. Now, as you get better at PHP, this is the preferred way of doing things because you don't have to open and close PHP tags all over the place, which this method goes in and does. So something like this, even though this may look a little bit crazy of all the open and close concatenations with the array values, this actually looks much cleaner than this way than if you were to do it this way because it would take a lot of open php and closed php tags but it's up to you on how you want to set it up and what you get more comfortable with in the next series we're going to be taking a look at conditionals and how to work with conditionals now that we have our basics of strings variables integers and arrays down